Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. As you can probably tell from the title and probably the thumbnail, it's an exciting one. <laughs> it's an exciting one this week. I still can't quite believe that this has happened. I'll insert the clips from earlier on this afternoon now. Mum, I think that was it. Oh, seriously? I think so, yeah. I think so too. I think We're turning on the right. Hope. Okay, I'll go back. Oh, oh, hello! Kind of a long time to make a baby. <laughs> Work and everything, tell you what to do with him. And, but, yeah. Hello! <laughs> hello! <laughs> He's so calm and chill. I can't believe he fits. <laughs> so oh, tiny. Okay. I've been like this all day. I'm like, I can't cry in my makeup. I cannot cry in my makeup. I, think so. mm. I just can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> I know. Hello, oh, you're so cute. Where's he going? Oh, look at the swishes. Oh, look at those swishes. Oh, just follow it. <laughs> he's absolutely adorable. Abs oh, he's so friendly. He's so happy. He just wants to play or cuddle. Oh, it's, it's just... Oh, everything, everything I wanted him to be. So he's half... Bernie's mountain dog and half Newfoundland and we met the parents when we went to collect him. They, they were lovely, a, a really nice temperament, healthy and I'm very happy, I feel very relaxed now but last night I didn't get much sleep at all. It has been quite quite stressful. I think partly because we actually did have a bad experience where we thought we were buying a Newfoundland and it was a con. It was calm. We thought we'd done all we could to make sure we weren't being scammed. But um, yeah, we spoke to the, the woman. We saw the puppies via video call. Um, everything seemed legit. But once she got her deposit, she just disappeared off the face of the earth. So there, and there's an awful lot of that going on on websites like Pets for Homes and I sort of started to recognise them but it's so hard, they do, I mean this woman sounded so um, legit, she really did so that obviously wasn't a very nice experience and I was so wary and I just kept thinking oh no someone's gonna just come along and offer more money or something like that because since lockdown and since people have been working from home the demand for puppies uh, it it's just has just gone through the roof and so the prices have gone up. There are so many, 3,000, 4,000. I even saw a golden retriever the other day for 5,000 pounds, which is just a bit ridiculous really, isn't it? Anyway, it's real, it has happened and it's absolutely lovely. And I'll be honest, I felt like we needed him in the family, you know. It's been seven months since Loki died, which is, it's it's unbelievable and as you can tell <laughs> I still cry about it all the time we just needed a puppy to help 
get over the sadness of losing Loki. I just don't think it was going to happen otherwise. So yeah, now we have this little bundle of joy in, in the house, which is just what we needed. Come on then, this way. Come this way. Good boy. Good boy. Come on then. decided on a name. I think we're going to go with Merlin. Um, it was originally Indy. I can't remember what I said now last time I chatted to you. I'm bringing him out on his car in a collar and lead for the first time <laughs> because he's off to the vets tomorrow. But the collar, we thought that would be fine. The collar is far, far too big. <laughs> Look at this. I think you'd much rather look at the cute dog while I talk. Mind you, the traffic is really busy. I don't know if you can hear me. Come on, we're meant to be getting you used to the collar and lead. Come on. He just wants to chew it, obviously. He just wants to chew everything. He's a very chewy dog. Good boy. That's it. have to keep checking what it is he's chewing. He is a very, very chewy puppy. Hang on. Can you... No, you can't see him at the moment. So, hello, a little bit of an update. It's Thursday, which means we have now had Merlin for a whole week, which is unbelievable, and he has grown. It's, he's so heavy, even the vet um, was a bit surprised <laughs> how heavy he weighs for his age. Back to have his vet check. And his first injections is um, a little bit restless. Good boy. Yeah, he had his vet check yesterday and all was well. Was it yesterday? No, day before yesterday. Oh, look, Rafiki coming in. It's not going well. The whole cat situation is not going well. Which is surprising because I'm actually, I'd started editing a video before we even knew we were getting him of Loki doing like putting together a whole load of clips probably out by now hopefully you've seen that um, if you want some more puppy and uh, cute dog content then do go and have a look at that it's not sad it's just it's just a nice little you know celebration of Loki we still miss him like crazy and it, it's been quite nice to look back at old clips of him. But yeah, watching that, because Rafiki is getting on now. We had Rafiki and we had Tinkerbell already when we brought Loki home as a puppy. And both of them were so much better with Loki than with Merlin. I don't know if that's an age thing, whether now he's a bit more older. He's just sitting there in the, in the doorway assessing the situation because since Loki died normally no pets are allowed in here but since Loki died I let Rafiki in because Rafiki was missing Loki you could tell and so was Gizmo Gizmo that was our old cat that we had when we had Loki and so was Lyris actually they've both sort of been coming in here recently but particularly Rafiki has sort of claimed this is his room so I feel a bit guilty for letting Merlin in and I only did yesterday for the first time but I just couldn't, I mean I'm not getting anything done it, having a puppy is like having a 
18 month old that are just toddling around and grabbing everything they can and breaking everything they can um so i have to keep my eye on him the whole time so i thought right well luckily i've been clearing up this room doesn't look like it now but that's all puppy stuff on the floor yeah so i think um i don't know i think perhaps rafiki's just got a bit more of a dominant streak in him now a bit more confidence now he's older so He's not, he's not scared of Merlin, but he does hiss at him an awful lot, and so does Tinkerbell. Lyra is actually the one that's the most relaxed, and again, she's younger than the others, so maybe it's something to do with that. Anyway, so that's the cat update, how they're getting on with him. I did an Instagram poll, by the way, between Merlin and Indy. Indy was his original name. Uh, did I uh, say this already? I can't remember, because I am so tired he is still really 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 good at night he's sleeping still from midnight till seven every single night apart from one where it was about half past six yeah so the vet that's what i was saying the vet check <laughs> the vet said he's nice and healthy he's got a healthy heart no problems the only funny thing was he had some ticks in between his toes there was this huge great sort of I didn't know what it was. It was grey. It was like it had, I don't know what the right word is, but it had got right in something and this huge thing was obviously being painful for him. So the vet got that big tick out and then there were two other little ones in there as well. I can only think they must have come with him because he's only been on our garden, which is cut short and we've never had ticks before at all. None of the cats, none of us were in the garden barefoot in the summer and the dogs have never had ticks either. So um, nothing serious because um, Chris thought it might have been like a deformity, like an extra toe or something. I mean, it was huge, this thing between the toes. Um, so at least we don't have to worry about doing an operation or anything like that because that would have been worrying. So, sorry I've been babbling away. I will probably put some cute puppy clips over the top of this chat, so because I'm sure that is what you would rather see. So I'm sort of, oh, I've, I, I'm sort of, I've got puppy brain at the moment. I'm going from one thing to the next. I struggle with concentrating on one thing at a time at the best of times. Yeah, I was saying he was, so he is sleeping well, but I need more than that. But of course I'm not being able to nap because I've been looking after the puppy. Yeah, today I fell asleep on the floor with them earlier. Anyway, anyway, my little puppy update. There's nothing much else going on in my life. So other videos that were in progress were, I'm in the middle of making a blue dress over here. Um, that's actually going to be part of the course that I was trying to do. I'm, I was trying to finish it this year, which I think was, ambitious what with everything going on this year it's just not been it's just not been the right year just you know i you know everyone's having a funny old year this year aren't they um what else is coming up we're doing the living room i was doing the living room until we got a puppy <laughs> oh dear see what i mean now he's hissing um i was doing a bit of a life update wasn't i what else is going on oh the living room <laughs> See what I mean? I just don't know where my brain is. Yeah, we're having a massive change around in the living room. New furniture, a new wall, um, new colour on the walls. So of course I am making a video about that. But progress is slow on that. <laughs> we'll be slower now we've got that one to look after. I'm hoping to crack on with the painting this weekend when Chris isn't working and can keep an eye on the puppy a bit more. So I've also been working on this room. I don't know if you remember back in April. Oh, he's disappearing. Oh, isn't he scrumptious? Mm -hmm. Kitty, do you want to settle on my lap? No, I didn't think so. Oh my goodness, I've just seen what you've been doing. Oh. What can you play with now? He's bored. No, 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 no. Right, he is bored now. I'm really going to have to wrap this up quickly. Um, <laughs> I was saying, uh, so there's a video about that coming up. I've still got a lot to do. I've still got some more storage to sort out. But we're getting there, so that'll be another video coming up. And I think I will just have to leave it there if you love puppies please give this video a thumbs up if you have any advice if you have any experience on looking after or training in newfoundland or a bernese mountain dog please leave your tips below because 
he's quite different to a Neapolitan or an English Mastiff which is what we've had before. He already knows how to sit and he follows us around the whole time sitting because he thinks he's going to get a treat if he does which is very very cute and difficult not to oblige and he's been very good with toilet training as well and he already knows what he is and isn't allowed to do a lot of the time. He's, he knows he's not allowed to go in the storeroom. When I was out doing the bit, putting rubbish in the bin, and when I was out getting logs in, straight into the storeroom. So he's already being properly naughty out of being clever naughty, not just not knowing naughty, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I've had to block that off. <laughs> Wish me luck. If you know any other dog lovers, please share this video with them. I hope they'd like it as well and do subscribe if you're new here i'd love to see you again and i'll see you again next time thanks for watching bye